Hey, Masa here. Today, I want to talk about what I eat. When you are a foreigner in Pakistan, one of the questions people ask you most frequently is, what do you eat? I think this basically has two possible meanings. One is, what do you eat as a China person? Remember, in Pakistan, all East Asians are called Chinese most of the time? East Asians are noticeably different from the locals, ethnically speaking, so people get curious about what we eat in general. The second possible meaning of the same question is, what do you eat as someone looking younger than the age? My chronological age is 45, but people tell me I look younger, thankfully, and they want to know if it's because of the food I eat. Okay, enough talking. Let me just show you some of what I eat. First off, here is keema noodles. Before everything else, I chopped the tomato and dehydrated it with sunlight. Here is the raw noodles that I made using maize. Maize is the local name for wheat flour. I mixed a bit of tapioca starch too. And I garnished the noodles with the sun-dried tomato. Yeah. As well as fried onions. These two really, really made a difference. Oh, look at this sucker. Yeah. Now let's eat this. Next, here is shrimp tempura. Shrimps are great in Pakistan, so I eat them a lot. Oh, oh yeah. All right, let me show you my breakfast next. But before I do, I wanna tell you something. I practice what's known as intermittent fasting, and I do it every day of the year. The idea is I only allow myself to eat between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. All my eating is done during these 10 hours. I drink liquids anytime, by the way. So because of the fasting, I bring breakfast to workplace because I can't eat it before leaving home. And here is what I bring. This is a salad with fried egg, banana, tomato, cucumber, onion, chickpeas, cashew nuts, almonds, walnuts, raisin, and roast chicken. I seasoned it with olive oil and Himalayan pink salt. I eat this more or less every day with slight variations in the contents. Next up is a Chinese classic, chow mein. This time I made it with bean sprouts, carrots, mushrooms, wood ears, the chow mein from the market, and the sauce I made with soy sauce, fish sauce, roasted sesame seeds, and red chili flakes. I also used roast chicken and coriander leaves. Now here is the chow mein. It's hard to find bean sprouts in stores here, but it does a lot to the taste and texture. Yeah. As you might have guessed, I'm a watermelon everyday kind of guy. Watermelons are another great thing in Pakistan. They are called tarboos and they are amazing. There are two kinds of tarboos available in the country. One is dark green and the other is light green. I always buy the dark green because it tastes better. Coming from Japan, mangoes in Pakistan are sensational. I mean, they are so delicious and cheap. In Japan, I think you might end up paying 2000 rupees just for one mango. Whereas here, it would be something like 50 rupees. What a difference, right? 2000 rupees and 50 rupees. This is fruits heaven. So when I eat mangoes, I cut them in slices, squeeze lemon juice over them, and use my upper teeth to scrape off the mango flesh. So, here are three points describing my eating habits. There are three things to avoid. Number one, avoid carbohydrates. I try not to eat things like rice, bread, and so on. Instead, I go for meat, vegetables, fruits, and nuts. I love noodles and noodles are carbohydrates though. Number two, avoid sugar. I don't drink soft drinks or fruit juices even. I think that any kind of sugar that gets into your body without dietary fiber is probably bad because it hits you so fast. Number three, avoid cheap oils. I use ghee or olive oil instead. These are expensive compared to say sunflower oil or canola oil but I think they are the healthiest. Let me show you how I do my chicken korma. Korma is curry, basically. Here are the ingredients. Chicken in korma size, 
whole spices which are black pepper, cloves, and cardamom seeds. Korma spice mix available in stores. Chopped tomatoes, chopped onions, and coriander leaves. And let's not forget yogurt. Whoops. My korma is different from the traditional one because I don't cook down the vegetables as hard. I prefer to retain some of the freshness of the veggies. Also, people normally eat korma with raw tea, but I eat it without any bread because I try to avoid carbohydrates. Mm. Yeah. I love lentils, which are locally known as dal. Here's how I love to eat moon dal. I soak the dal overnight and simply cook it in chicken broth and season with salt. Simple but yummy. And it's not just mangoes that are cheap. Vegetables are also cheap where I live. I live in an area called Banigara in Islamabad. I just came back from a little grocery shopping and I came back with this. This bag contains one mango, one lemon, a half kilogram of onions, and one kilogram of tomatoes. And do you know how much it cost me? That was just 120 rupees, which in today's rate is 82 cents in dollars or 73 cents in euro it's cheap isn't it so i buy the local staples like tomatoes and onions right here in my neighborhood and i go into town for the other stuff like soy sauce and tofu i hope this video was interesting and maybe answered your question if you are one of the people who wondered what i ate Living in a foreign place forces you to overhaul your eating habits because of the cultural differences. In that sense, it can be tough, but it's full of fun. And that's the other thing I wanted to tell you today off my chest. Thanks, bye!